So, hi everyone, uh, I'm Takanori Suzuki and uh, I'm so much excited about to be here today. Uh, today I will talk about uh, bridging business and open source. And I will share the, our experience with uh, integration, integrating of Miracle Linux with Alma Linux as a case study. Uh, about me, I'm uh, Takanori Suzuki. Uh, <coughs> I'm uh, Chief Open Source Officer and leading the uh, OSPO in CyberTrust, Japan. And I also uh, open source engineer. Uh, and in 1999, I First time I met uh, open source, and I knew the what is open source by the the famous essay, the cathedral and the buzzer. And uh, after that was when I was university stud student, and after that I joined to the Cyber Trust Japan, and now it's uh, at that time it, it was uh, Miracle Linux. And I worked for the Miracle ZBX, uh, the open source monitoring software, and uh, Miracle Linux, the enterprise uh, Linux distribution, uh, as a <coughs> open source engineer. And also, currently, uh, I'm working for the Miracle Linux development system, mm. and I also a uh, gentle user, by the way. Uh, and agenda. Uh, <coughs> and I will talk, explain about the overview of uh, our company's business and the, about the Linux integration. And then I will talk about how was the role in our company. Uh, about about OSPO, and after that I will talk about the how we bridge the bridge to business and to open source community. And finally, I will talk about conclusion. Okay, this is the uh, rough image of uh, our company business and department and product. Uh, the originally we merged it with uh, CyberTrust is a PKI system company and uh, Miracle Linux is a uh, Linux distribution server Linux distribution company. And this time I will talk about this Miracle Linux. And the Miracle Linux is a, a Enterprise Linux distribution uh, compatible with uh, CentOS and uh, RHEL. <coughs> and about the integration is uh, we integrated the Miracle Linux with Alma Linux. <coughs> uh, we did this uh, last May in this year. And <coughs> like uh, in this picture, uh, we joined to the uh, Alma Linux um, project and we became a platinum spon sponsor of the foundation and also joining the development in the community. And now we're we are collaborating with uh, Alma Linux, and uh, now we our Miracle Linux is based on Alma Linux, and in future our distribution and uh, Alma Linux become same distribution. 
So uh, for doing this, uh, I will explain how our OSPO supports the company to do this integration. Uh, first of all, uh, our role, the OSPO role in our company is like this, uh, mainly four roles. Uh, one is uh, bridging to open source community. Uh, role two is bridging to business, uh, sorry, uh, ensuring the open source compliance. And role three uh, is bridging to business and role four is managing the open source program. And this time, I will focus to this two role, uh, bridging to business and bridging to open source community. So I will talk about the bridging to business. <coughs> Uh, for bridging to business, uh, we also do uh, mainly these two actions, and uh, we think uh, in my company, uh, our OSPO, we think uh, the open source activity uh, main character should be a uh, company and each business unit. So uh, basically OSPO is uh, helping and supporting the company and uh, each business unit to do open source activities. So uh, basically we uh, listen to the business unit and companies and suggesting how to do uh, open source things for the business. So we, first of all, we gather the insights from the each business unit and uh, we suggested to how to cooperate with the business unit to uh, propose uh, engagement with open source communities. And by uh, hearing the, listening to the, their needs and uh, situations, uh, we found uh, there's some challenges before the integration. <coughs> uh, one is uh, uh, lack of collaboration with the community. Uh, because uh, our Miracle Linux distribution is uh, mm, it's open source, but a bit uh, distant from the community. Uh, of course, we sometimes contribute to the community and getting information from community, but uh, we could do more uh, activity to with uh, community and actually it's uh, needed for more sustainable and uh, more big ecosystem. And also the duplicate effort is uh, another issue. And uh, by this integration, uh, we think uh, we can get benefit from by this integration, uh, like uh, after we join to the Almanex project, uh, we can collaborate to the project and there is uh, uh, enough stable uh, foundation system and it's transparent. Uh, community ecosystems. <coughs> and uh, because the Armaniax Foundation system is uh, well made, so we can get a uh, more sustainable and independent governance in the developing the distributions. 
and highlight in this stage uh, is uh, OSPO structure. Uh, we talked to uh, we talked so much with uh, as a business unit and also the C level people like uh, CEO and uh, business unit leader. And <coughs> Actually, uh, this is uh, one of the biggest uh, important part for doing this activity uh, by OSPO. <coughs> and because uh, as you see, uh, the blue part, uh, Chief Open Source Officer, that, that is me. And uh, because I have, I got the uh, she level name. Uh, I could uh, easy to talk with uh, other C level people and easy to uh, communicate with other business unit. And uh, under under my position, uh, there is a corporate level OSPO, and that OSPO has uh, some. Uh, feature, uh, functions like strategy, compliance, and com promoting open source culture and education, and etc. <coughs> and our OSPO has uh, OSPO members, and they are uh, from uh, each business unit. So, uh, because they uh, OSPO member and at the same time they are business unit member, so uh, we could get more e uh, e easily to get the situation in the uh, situation of the business unit about open source, and it's more it's easier to uh, explain how we should. Uh, so, because there is an OSPO member in each business unit, uh, understanding and easy communication in the business unit. So, uh, next, uh, about the bridging to open source community. Uh, <coughs> about the bridging to open source community, uh, we OSPO did these actions. Uh, as I said, uh, our OSPO is mainly uh, supporting the company and business unit to do open source activities. Uh, Autonomous, autonomously. So uh, basically, our activity is encouraging and supporting uh, for contribution and participa pass participating to the founda foundation and pass and uh, also the presenting the achievement and the future plans at event and organization of events. <coughs> I will talk about each uh, activities we supported. <coughs> about the uh, contribution to development in community, uh, I think that is the heart of open source. Uh, everything should be start from here, <coughs> and we could do some contributions in Almanax, like uh, we joined to build system SIG, and also <coughs> participation in Raspberry Pi support and Risk Five support, and also the enhancement in S bone features. <coughs> And uh, also proposing new SIG uh, certification SIG, and uh, as you see, uh, 
uh, Alma Linux is now not just cloning of the RHEL. So these, uh, for example, Raspberry Pi support, uh, RISC V support, and SBOM, SPDX support, uh, Alma Linux original features. So uh, we could do some uh, contribute to make the Almanax uh, better originalities. And about the particip participation in Almanax Open Source Foundation, uh, <coughs> uh, we became a platinum sponsor of the foundation. And the important point is the uh, governance model of the Almanax. And actually, because of the governance model of the Almanax, we join to the Alma Linux. <coughs> uh, the governance model is important. Uh, for example, in Alma Linux, uh, first of all, Alma Linux has a foundation. So, uh, not by uh, some uh, controlled by some one company, uh, basically controlled by the Armenian Foundation. So <coughs> it's more, and the foundation is uh, has uh, um, stable rules. Uh, it provides a sustainable and independent in independency to the uh, Almanac project. So, uh, because of this, uh, we decided to uh, become the become to join the Almanac, and. Of course, uh, even we became to the sponsor, still the contribution in community is important. Because as you see, the just joining to the foundation and ordering something just to community is uh, nonsense. And joining to the foundation and also joining to the community uh, then we can do uh, open source activities effectively. <coughs> uh, next. Mm, uh, we uh, presented uh, the achievement and future plans at event. Uh, for example, this event uh, in Open Source Summit Japan 2023, uh, we have uh, uh, totally uh, our company could get uh, seven sessions and including this, uh, three sessions uh, about Almanax. Uh, one is mine and another other things uh, these two sessions uh, about the uh, one is about SBOM. Uh, do you know the Almanax is uh, one of the first uh, SBOM support supporting enterprise Linux distribution. Uh, Almanac supported the uh, SBOM uh, la uh, last year or oh, almost one year ago. 
and uh, we added the uh, SPDX support uh, features and also uh, adding the NTIA, now I'm adding the NTIA requirement support. And that session is talking about that. And another session is uh, about the future of Alma Linux. And this session, uh, we talk with uh, Alma Linux chair, chairperson, Benny. Uh, so we could uh, uh, present the achievement and have having the session with the uh, Armaniax community, uh, Armaniax Foundation person. <coughs> so that is uh, achievement of the at the event. And next uh, about the organizing the event. Uh, we are now organizing the Armanax Day Tokyo. Uh, that is the world first official Armanax event. <coughs> uh, we are uh, actively supporting that as uh, our Armanax activity in Japan. And we could invite chair and founder and architect of Almaniax as a speakers. And that is December 9th. It means next Saturday in this week. So we could uh, make many uh, achievement by integrating the Miracle Linux to Almaniax. So, conclusion, uh, the key achievement and milestones is uh, successfully integrated Miracle Linux with Armaniax, enhancing the company's open source footprint. And uh, by bridging to business and open source community, uh, we have enabled active and sustainable contribution to open source and aligned with business need, needs. And the lessons and future directions. Uh, contribution to development in community is uh, of course, the heart of open source and still important uh, also uh, from now uh, uh, or always. And also the OSPO structure is uh, crucial to drive the OSPO within the organization, OSPO activities within the organization. And also understanding the governance model of open source project is vital, like uh, Alma Linux project uh, foundation model is, I think is great. So these are reasons we got by uh, merging the Miracle Linux with Armaniax. Uh, thank you. Uh, do you have any questions? Okay, please. Second presentation. Uh, I'm curious about uh, uh, how uh, you you are evaluated internally in your company about the uh, OSPO activity. Uh -huh. uh, for such as a KPI or something like that. Uh, I think that mm -hmm. uh, 
activity of the OSPO, OSPO mm -hmm. should be uh, linked to the business success, I think. So how the, your company uh, evaluates OSPO? I see, I see. Uh, uh, why, I, I, I'm curious about uh, why your company mm -hmm. have decided to have OSPO internal your mm -hmm. organization. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, first of all, uh, the evaluation of OSPO, uh, now we have these four roles, big roles. And uh, we internally we bre break break down the, these roles more in each um, activities, and uh, our KPI is uh, from these how much we could do the such roles, and like. For example, in this time, uh, we could do the, we could support the business unit and company for merging the Miracle Linux to the, uh, with uh, Almanax and bridging with the community. And we could smoothly support to do that. And, uh, but that is after we could start the OSPO. And before starting OSPO, uh, we are uh, actually uh, this OSPO structure is uh, another key point. And actually, before making OSPO, uh, we had a uh, uh, How can I say? Uh, we had a, a open source committee in company, uh, and we are the in the business unit member in each business unit, and so a kind of a voluntary work in the company for open source and. Uh, Sometimes uh, each business unit has uh, issues or uh, something they want to do open source things. Uh, then we can suggest we should do such thing or another thing. And for driving more about open source, uh, we suggest uh, to make the OSPO. And by making OSPO, we can solve such issues and then uh, after I suggest we I talked with uh, CEO and let's make to let's make uh, OSPO and please give me the C name uh, chief open source officer and because of that uh, we could do the OSPO activity effectively. Is it okay? Thank you. Uh, another questions? Uh, <clears throat> thanks so much. Uh, uh, I uh, understood about the KPI of the OSPO itself, and uh, I'd like to know about the uh, each community's uh, activities KPI of uh, because uh, I think uh, long relationship with the community is very important mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I think uh, but uh, the company have to set the each year's uh, KPI or sa something purpose or goals mm -hmm. so how to set the, uh, the each uh, community's work uh... I think uh, the important point is uh, um, how much binding the uh, business go with uh, uh, open source community activities. Uh, if the business 
goal uh, requires uh, open source activity, uh, it's naturally uh, we can do open source activity and we can continue the such activities. So uh, setting the and binding the business and open source activity is a, a key point, I think. Is it okay? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Do you have uh, other questions? Uh, thank you for the talk. And, uh, uh, and uh, you explained about that uh, after joining the Alma Linux, the mm -hmm. contribution increased. Mm -hmm. So my question is the the real benefit or uh, some kind of uh, increase in the business side. Uh, do you have any good uh, benefit in the? Uh, do, uh, do you find the benefit in the uh, the business mm -hmm. after the? After that, joining the Alma Linux. Uh, the be benefit of the contribution, you mean? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, contribution. Uh. By contributing, uh -huh. the, uh -huh. are, uh, for, for example, the increase of security or mm -hmm. in increase mm -hmm. of some uh, I see. functionality or something. Yeah. I see. Uh, actually, uh, for example, for example, uh, our company is now also working for the open SSF, the software supply chain security activity. And uh, for doing that, uh, SBOM is uh, important. And But, you know, uh, just making the SBOM for uh, software, one software, is not enough. Uh, S bomb for the everything in the system is important. For doing that, uh, supporting S bomb from operating system is in the start point, I think, and that is important. So, uh, for doing that, uh, contributing to the uh, Armory Linux and the adding support and enhancing the SBOM features in community is uh, uh, effective and it become, can be uh, connected to our uh, next business. Mm -hmm. And also there is a certif certification SIG. Uh, certification SIG, uh, uh, certification for Linux distribution is uh, uh, of course, it is important because and it's difficult for the small share distribution uh, because you know uh, if some distribution has less share in market, uh, software vendor or hardware vendor not tend to certificate the that dis distribution so. By merging, uh, by joining with the uh, uh, Linux, uh, we can easily easier to get the certification um, by joining the Linux Foundation. So that is another benefit. And also about the build build system sig, uh, we could get the many knowledge about the building system, not only our internal of the company. So uh, that is uh, another benefit for um, building our original uh, distribution or enhancing the, uh, the distribution for new our product. Thank you, uh, I understand. Thank you. Other questions? <coughs> uh, 
。OK、uh,。So いいかな。はい。OK、so this is、uh, everything I talk.、Uh, thank you.